like I said, so we've started um, working on this task. Your first question is, what do the following represent? So you're going to write down what each of them represent. What does the B stand for in bolts? What does the O stand for in bolts? What does the L stand for? And so on. So I'm going to give you a couple minutes just to do that one there for me. And like I was saying, if you need some help, you can go and have a look at that PowerPoint, the lesson two features of maps and bolts PowerPoint from the resources tab on Compass that we use together in order to help you find those answers. All right, Ruth, you raised your hand. Do you have a question? A ref, I'll get you not to read out the answers to everyone else. Only do it for yourself. I want everyone else to do it from their own knowledge. Oh, was okay? it unmuted? Yeah. All right, Ruth, you raised your hand. What was your question? Oh, no. No? All right. So go through. I'm going to give you just a couple minutes more just to quick think. Well, just about one minute more to finish that, and then we're going to move on to the next question. Now, this next question says, explain the use of direction on a map and provide an example of how direction is shown on a map. And for this question, it says that you have to use two to three sentences. So you would write one sentence, which explains how we use direction on a map, what it is used for on a map, and then a one sentence which provides an example of how direction is shown on a map. Again, if you can't remember, what you might do is you might open up that PowerPoint. Like I said, you can download it from Compass and you might open that up. You might open up this PowerPoint and see which slide might talk about direction and have a read of it. Because remember, this is from your textbook, so you're allowed to use this to help you answer the questions. I just don't want anyone copying from the internet. So for this question, I want to make sure that you are not copying from the internet. You can use the PowerPoint, you can use your own knowledge, okay? It's very simple and very easy for me to tell when someone has copied from the internet. And like I said, if you copy from the internet, it would be an N rather than an S. We are wanting our own authentic work. Okay, Miss. Yeah, Bilal? Can we copy from the PowerPoint? Yes, you can use the PowerPoint to help you write your answers. Yes, you can. Yeah. I want you to try and put it in your own words, though. I don't want it just copied straight from the PowerPoint. So I want you to put it in your own words. But yes, definitely use the PowerPoint. That's what it's there for. Maluka said, can we put our words in bold? As long as I can read it, I don't mind. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit just to work. Okay, so how's everyone going? Can I move on to the next question? We're ready to go? Okay, yes. so let's move on to the yes, next one. Miss. So here we have a, this is the next section. So we just did part one, which was the um, this part here. And now we're on to the next section where we're labeling the bolts on the map. So here is this map that has all the features of bolts. And we had a look at it in lesson two as well. So what you're going to do is, the above map has all the features of bolts. Each feature of bolts has been labeled by a colored letter. So we can see there's a red A here, an orange B, a green C, a blue D, a pink E, and a purple F, okay? And all of what those are doing is you've got the colored letter and then a box that's surrounding or outlining one of the um, bolts features, okay? So you're going to write down the bolts feature for each of the letters. So you're going to have a look at the colored A. You're going to find the colored red A on the map. So we can see that there's a red A here. And you're going to tell me what, um, what bolt feature is that labeling? What feature is it growing a circle around? Okay, do you want us to write the letter of the feature? You're going to write the bolts feature, the full feature. So you've got the letter there. Well, let's do the first one together. What is A circling? What feature is it circling? It's orientation. Orientation. So you would write orientation. If you're writing what bolts feature, it's labeling. So the letter A on the map is labeling the orientation, isn't it? 
Okay, so you're going to go through and do that for all the rest of them. Okay. So if you know what each of these, if you know what each of these ones are, um, what each of the features of bolts are. So if you know what all of these are, then you should know what each of them does. If you're not sure what each of them does, and you're like, I've kind of forgotten. You can go back to the PowerPoint again. Like I said, you can use that lesson two features of maps and bolts PowerPoint and you can have a look. Here's the bolts here. So you could have a look and see what each one of them does. So if you're not sure, you can use that PowerPoint to help you. Okay. Now, if you're not sure, if you can't, if you can look at B and you go, I don't know what that is. And you can't think of what it is off the top of your head. Then maybe move to the next one. Go to C. And you might go, okay, what's C then? If I can work out what C is, then I can put C in there. Or just skip between them. If you know what E is, you could write it down. You don't have to go in order. Because you know, once you've got some of the other ones down, you know that B could only be maybe two options. Okay, so try and, if you're not entirely sure, skip it and then go back to it. Okay, good question though, Manuela. Um, yes. So I'm just going to reiterate what I've said for this one because I am recording us and I realized we weren't recording. So I'm just going to say it again so the people that aren't here will be able to watch the video later on. So for question B, it says, what is the purpose of the above map and what information does it show? And I want two to three sentences. So that means you need to write two or three full sentences to get this answer correct. Now, to find out the purpose of the map, we might look at what is the title? You might have a look at the title. So it says Australia Indigenous Land and Sites 2006. How could you write that in a full sentence to, to say what the purpose is? The purpose of this map is to show us the Indigenous land and sites in 2006. That might be your first sentence. Then you might have a look at the legend or the colours on the map in order to see what specific information it's showing us. So it's showing us the land and you might name a few of the lands and it's showing us these sort of significant sites. Those are what the things you can use to help you answer that question for part B. Now we're on to that last question here. So question C. So this here is the legend of the above map. You're going to use the legend to identify one type of indigenous land that can be found in the Northern Territory on the map. So on in the legend, we can see there are four types of indigenous land and they're represented by colors. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back up to the map that's up here. You're going to find the state, which is Northern Territory. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. They are labeled. So you need to read the map in order to find the Northern Territory. Once you've found that, you're then going to look at the colors that are in it. You're going to see what one of the colors are that's in the Northern Territory. And you're gonna scroll down and you might have another look at the map to see, okay, which color did I see? And then you're gonna write which one of the indigenous land you found in the Northern Territory. And that's how you answer part C. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you where you can upload the work if you have finished. You're going to go over to our um, lesson plan you're going to go to learning tasks and you're going to go down to remote learning hurdle task one bolts application. So you're going to click on that and you're going to upload it there. So I can already see that Joyce and Organ's already done it, which is really good. So Joyce and Organ have already uploaded their work for their, well, that might be Joyce's from last lesson, but Organ's already uploaded his. Okay. So you upload it into that remote learning hurdle task one bolts application. Once you have uploaded it, I want you to let me know so I can check it before you leave today. I don't want anyone to leave before I've checked that your work has been uploaded. Okay?